video series called Just Ask It. There is a certain influential group of people who form a tiny minority in Canada which consists of approximately 17.5% of the Canadian population. This uh, tiny group have uh, pushed for rules that insist that most government positions are only available to those Canadians who qualify to be among their group. This means that your Prime Minister must be chosen from their tiny 17.5% group of Canadians. Your Federal Auditor General must be chosen from their tiny 17.5% group of Canadians. And your Chief Electoral Officer must be chosen from their tiny 17.5% group of Canadians as well. Now, this also applies to the other Officers of Parliament positions you see here on this list. And, if that were not enough, Justin Trudeau, one of those from among the tiny 17.5% group of Canadians who qualify to be in this group, is insisting that all Supreme Court judges now also be chosen from their tiny 17.5% group of Canadians as well. So, at the end of the day, what this means is that all of these high-level, important and influential positions within the upper echelons of your government and legal system are being set aside to be occupied by only those people who qualify for membership in this tiny group of approximately 17.5% of all Canadians. And this in turn means that the rest of the Canadians, the majority 82.5%, are locked out of these opportunities because they don't qualify. Does that seem fair to you? Does it seem fair that Canada's Prime Minister is chosen from among this tiny group of approximately 17.5% of all Canadians? It seems rather odd to disqualify 82.5% of all Canadians from even attempting to access these positions within their own federal government and legal system, doesn't it? Yet, that's exactly what is happening right now. And what is the criteria, you ask, for membership in this tiny group? Well, in order to qualify to even be considered for membership, you must know French. Now, that would be okay, I guess, if the country had a majority of French people to make this kind of criteria worthwhile and fair, but that is not the case at all. As a matter of fact, most of those 17.5% who qualify as part of that group uh, live in the provinces of Quebec and New Brunswick. That's right. Uh, here you see the tiny numbers representing the other provinces outside of the provinces of Quebec and New Brunswick. So, in effect, what we are allowing is discrimination against 82.5% of the majority Canadian citizens based on language. Does that seem fair? Does that seem just? Does that seem like something you're okay with? Just asking.